All right, right now I'm going to tie for you a fly called Blackjack Still. It's one of my favorite stillhead nymphs. It's a spinoff from a trout fly I created called Blackjack. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to tie it on a size 8 Dairiki 135. I've got a three, uh, 530 seconds tungsten bead. This one's hot pink. Uh, put a little bit of lead, 20 thousandths lead behind the bead. Give it a little extra weight, but also to help keep it snug. Make sure that bead doesn't slip on us once the fly is complete. Um, thread is important on this fly. I'm using UTC 140 on this uh, for the black. What I'm going to do is start it behind the lead. I'm going to go ahead and take it back to where the hook's bending pretty good. At that point, I'm going to take some black biots. And I'm going to face them in opposite directions, one from another, so they splay out, make a good tail. Like so. Okay, we're going to make this tail about a third to a yeah, about a third the length of the body of the fly. With biots, once you get them tied in, you can always look at them and adjust them if you feel like it needs it. Those look squared away pretty good. We're going to tie them off, create a little bit of extra body on this fly up to the base of that lead. Clip off the excess. Okay, next we're going to take some hot pink, fluorescent pink, excuse me, UTC 140. This is actually going to be our rib material. So what we're going to do is tie it on the close side, the near side of the fly. We're going to tie it all the way back to those biots. Okay, now you'll see that there's some pink thread shining through. We're going to make sure this black thread covers all of that up. So we're going to go ahead now and create a, a thread base for this fly. And in doing so, we're going to taper the body and cover all that pink thread. This is why you want to use the 140 instead of the 70. Makes this part go a little bit quicker. Also, we want to cover up this lead. Make sure, oops, make sure we cover it all the way up. We don't want any of that shining through. Okay, once you've got a tapered body that's looking pretty good, up to behind that bead. I like to throw a quick half inch. Get that black thread out of the way, but leave it attached. Then I'm going to take my fluorescent pink thread and I'm going to spin it. I spin it uh, clockwise just to tighten it up. We want a nice tight rib. Once it's spun, notice how there's no hot pink shining through the body of this fly. Okay, then I'm going to use the rotary function. If you don't have rotary, that's fine. I just help to help. I just use it so it can help me make sure that my rib looks nice and evenly segmented, but definitely not necessary. Just just handy. Okay, we're going to take this hot pink rib, keeping it evenly segmented all the way up to the bead. That was getting a little bit, looking a little thick, so I'm going to wind this thread just a little more to keep it a little tighter. There we go, that looks better. Anytime the thread starts to open up, open up on you, if you want to, if you're picky like I am, you can take your thread back and wind it up a little tighter. Okay, then we're going to take this pink thread and we're going to tie it off with our black and just snip it off. Let's throw another half inch on at this point. Okay, now we're going to take some of this Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails girly stuff. You can use Loon Hardhead Clear if you want. Or any other product that makes a fly super durable. And we're going to coat all the thread that we just barely applied to this hook. All the way to the bead. And it's going to darken up that pink rib, but as it dries it will lighten it up. Okay, and we're going to put a nice healthy coat. We want to make sure this fly is extremely durable. We're going to get it on there so it's really glossy and that will also mat down as it dries. Okay, this does take some time. What I usually do if I'm tying these in bulk is I'll take and tie up a half a dozen to this point. Before I put that 
Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails on there. I'll clip off the thread cause I, after a couple of half inches, line them up on a piece of foam, coat all of the bodies, then go back afterwards and do the next steps in bulk. All right, now that the body of our fly has had time to dry, it's looking good, it's not as shiny. You can tell by the touch that it's not tacky. Our thread is still attached. We're gonna take some white biots. We're gonna line them up, make sure the tips are lined up nice and good. We're gonna put them on the back of this fly's wings. Uh, we wanna take the tips so they're just shy of the, uh, the, the end of the body of this fly. So we're gonna get them where we think they need to be. Make a couple of wraps. As any biots are, you can then adjust them to where you think they should stay. Another securing wrap, maybe one in front. Clip off the excess. Okay, we're then going to give this fly a uh, black semi-sil collar. Semi-sil is very stringy. I like it for this reason. It kind of goes all over the place, gives it a nice wild looking collar. It's not really a very tame look, which is just fine. I think it looks great. Catches fish, does a great job. Doesn't need to be a real thick collar. Just enough to where you think it looks right. Okay, at this point, we're going to whip finish this fly and it's done. And you can double whip finish it. Fishing steelhead, I find that I like my flies as durable as possible. Bounce them on the rocks a lot. They've got additional weight. Um, a few things like that. And in case we do get in st some steelhead, it's nice if they have uh, they can chew on it a bunch and still be durable. The uh, Sally Hansen's really makes the body of this fly extremely durable. The one thing that does happen on occasion is the bead, the paint on the bead will chip out. Uh, and that point makes it look funny. But there's a completed fly. So that's the blackjack still. Looks pretty good. Another color that I like to fish it in is a chartreuse. The only thing different is the uh, chartreuse bead, chartreuse rib, and an olive olive semi-sil instead of the black. Both fish well. Both look good in the box. Go ahead and tie some up. Good luck. Mm -hmm.